little Tokyo, one of my favorite places to come. And I'm here actually with one of my best friends in the whole world. Hi. This is Roxy. We have been friends since we were six. So let's go explore little Tokyo. Yay! <laughs> Little Tokyo is a district in downtown LA and the heart of the largest Japanese American population in North America. I always like to start at the Japanese Village Plaza, an outdoor shopping center which is brimmed with eateries and shops that house some of my favorite Asian beauty products. So we're here at the first store. This is like literally, I love coming to this store here. In particular, it's all beauty and look at the mask section. We are like literally having like mini baby heart attacks. Seriously. Cause it, everything is just so freaking cute. Missing out. Oh my god, it literally does taste mm -hmm. like green tea. Matcha. Where is that? So we have our pork bun. Well, I have a pork bun and she got, you got beef? I got beef, yeah, and veggies. I'm obsessed with the texture of this bread. Oh my god, it's like, what? I wish I had like some hot sauce. There's some over there. Yeah? Mm -hmm. oh my god. So this is just our appetizer before we go to our the ramen spot. This is like a famous, like the best ramen, everyone talks about it. So we're gonna try it out for the first time. The wait, as you can imagine, is super long because it is the best ramen in town. And so yeah, we're just gonna have a little of these sweet buns right now. <laughs> and while you're here, don't forget to treat yourself with all the snacks Little Tokyo offers. My personal favorites are Honey Me, Mikawea for freshly made mochi. Mikawea has been a staple here for over a hundred years. And of course, Cafe Dulce. but it is so so good kind of I don't know if I should have ate that pork but I would have totally ate a donut from there because they're so amazing but anyways we're gonna check out this Tony Moly store we didn't even know that it was here so we're gonna go check that out now Tony Molly, but people are telling me Tony, Tony Molly. So we are so stoked that we found this Tony Molly store. Like to see their full product line, like it was it's, amazing. It's, it's so and you like, can test everything. Like you know, usually we order like on Amazon or yeah. whatever, but to get like the full product line. But this, you can like test it and. The girls here are so, so sweet. Yeah, um, usually I order it online, so to see it in person was like, oh my god. Like so many products. Yeah, so many and good quality stuff. Yeah, we're, I mean, we got we got some things, so be sure to check it out on her channel. But yes, ma'am. We gotta continue, we're gonna go get some ramen and just kinda see what else we have in this little area. I have never been in a more complicated photo booth. This is the photography area. Oh my god, I'm so 
kids at heart so we love anything cartoony anything with like a smile slap a cute face on it done. done yeah i just i can't even imagine what it would be like in tokyo <laughs> i would like, have like a heart attack like, like i don't think i would be able probably. to walk like a block without be like oh my god oh my god oh my god i would have a heart attack at the airport like <gasps> <laughs> no seriously but yeah i'm like gagging over like the snacks the cosmetics the skincare just everything Everything. Can't go wrong. They always do it right and I love that they slap a cute love. packaging on everything and anything with like cute food we're, we're down for too. Yeah. So we're gonna go get some lunch and yeah, let's go. If you're not huge on ramen, you can't go wrong here with sushi. I like Komasa sushi and Hama sushi, but you can definitely find several different sushi restaurants. Everyone kept telling us about Daiko Kuya that we had to see if the hype was real. We are finally seated. We're about to get our ramen. We ordered finally. Finally. It was like an hour wait, no joke. So it better be worth it. I don't know if people just maybe they convinced themselves like it's so good because they waited so long. It's like it has to be good. I don't know. Whatever, we'll find out. We ordered the spicy miso ramen. I ordered the same. And yeah, we're gonna try it out. check it out it's such a cool neighborhood to explore since we hit some serious food coma from Daiko Kuya we didn't explore some of my other favorites in little Tokyo but they definitely deserve to be mentioned if you need a pick-me-up try Dematase a really cool concept coffee house with innovative coffee and teas after some exploring in Little Tokyo, a museum worth checking out is the Japanese American National Museum, where you can learn about the Japanese American story and experience the story of the first immigrants through several artifacts and documents. They also have special exhibits throughout. Far Bar is a great spot to grab a drink at night or for happy hour, and I always love coming to Pop Killer for some vintage finds and a great band tea. So be sure to check out our Little Tokyo haul over on Rox's channel and you guys can see all the little goodies that we got. Some of the products are super interesting, so I know you're gonna wanna check that out. If you guys like this little Tokyo adventure, please give it a thumbs up, and thank you so, so much for watching. Please give my best friend in the whole wide world a round of applause for being here with me. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye.